All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman Association, and today we're sitting out here. This is the ultimate rifle build. This is my favorite, uh, most accurate rifle I have. Uh, I'm not gonna go down through the run, rundown, but thanks to Ultradine Proof Research, JP Rifles, Trigger Tech, uh, Primary Arms, uh, the mainstay. Those are the guys that support the channel, as well as the guys I'm talking about today, and that's Callaway Ballistics. Today, we're talking about their new 77 grain. This is their hollow point boat tail. I like to call it hollow tail boat point. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, hollow tail boat point. No, that's wrong. Totally wrong. All right, so anyway, what we're going to do, uh, we've got zero, hardly any wind out here. It's a little drift, a little thing, but not that much. So what I'm trying to do is we're going to see how these work inside this rifle. Uh, the best group I've ever received out of this was with the uh, Nexus 77 grain, and that was a .36 MOA. So uh, we'll see what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna go ahead and load these up. These are really nice. These are remanufactured. And I'll put the link uh, to my campsite below, which will lead you over there. So anyway, let's go ahead and load these up. Uh, one of the things that I do look at is the consistency in the uh, bullet seating. Uh, these are cantalured. Uh, they are using Sierra this time. And uh, again, what I want to do is maybe put a five round shot group. Now I've got a camera at 100 and I've got a camera set up at 300. So we want to see how they do it. I can't for the life of me remember what uh, my dope is for on this scope for 300 yards, but we're just going to hold 10 and a half inches over because that's pretty much it. So. With that, let's put some ear balls on, get down here behind the scope and see what kind of group we can get at 300, or no, 100 yards, okay? So here we go. Oops. And I've got two dots down there. They're one inch dots, okay? One I'm gonna set up with my competition rifle, three gun, I wanna see how these react and how that they align with that 300 yard target. Here we go. Left side. Man, it's been a while since I've shot this rifle and it just feels so damn good. Oh, okay. Oh, left flyer. Another flyer. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. I'm not sure what happened there. We were dead on the target. The first three were very consistent. Go five round shot grip up at the 300 yard target. I've got like a six inch deal up there. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold 10 and a half inches above it. And that should get us close. Or at least I'll see where the impact is and I can move to that. And the reason we test it with different rifles, uh, this is a 20 inch barrel, but you wanna test it with different rifles just because you, uh, different barrels react to different bullets. Here we go, uh, 10 and a half inches, or at least what I think. I'm just gonna shoot it one mil low. See how that works. Damn. All right. I can't see the group. But we'll see when we get down there. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to uh, 
check it out and see what we can do with the competition rifle uh, just using the bipod and this rear bag. Stand by. All right, so we're going to do something else here. Uh, when I was shooting that first series, my I checked my muzzle brake because I just mounted that thing and it came loose. So muzzle brake being loose will mess with your harmonic. So let's just go ahead. We will... And what I'm going to do this time, actually, let me go ahead and use the uh, my bi bipod instead of this right here. Okay. Shoot it like you stole it. Okay, so here we go. Five rounds. Alright, let's see how these react. All right, pull that one last one, but otherwise, uh, a hell of an improvement, I believe. Uh, yeah. So again, what we're gonna do now, let's go ahead and take it up to the 500. We'll do five more rounds up there for that. The next time we come out here, we'll bring this rifle again, and I'll set up the uh, the chrono. All right, so here we go, 500. Hmm. All right. Interesting. So, uh, go ahead and drop this thing. I'm going to put the uh, comp rifle on. And again, this is uh, a really cool rifle that was put together. The guys over there at Proof Research, Ultra Dyne, very helpful. Uh, primary arms, of course, and Trigger Tech all together. All right. So, in this rifle, we're running a 200 yard zero, which is going to, at 100 yards, uh, land about two and a half inches above the the, uh, the, the dot that I have down there. Man, this thing is gassed so much higher than that other one. It almost hurts compared to that guy. Okay. From what I see, that's a pretty decent uh, looking, what do you call that, group? All right, let's continue. I'm going to choose the five out of the same box. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. It's amazing. That's so much further. Here we go. There's a bug on my leg. Get off me. It's a bumblebee. Fuck. Look. Alright. Go on. Get out of here. Hell. Hmm. Alright, you guys see that before I am? So with that being said, uh, big thanks out to the guys out here at Milford County Sportsman Association. Uh, with that. I always hit him like this. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Keep training. Make yourself proficient at using a firearm. Know how to operate it. Know how to clear uh, malfunctions. Get ready. That's all I got to say. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Down south, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. And yes, I know that's loose. Damn. One other thing I got to do. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Boom! Ha ha. All right. Okay, so there's a top dot on there now. Boom, you see it?
Oops. All right, for factory loads, that's been good. Uh, yeah. Good job, Cal. Good go God, guys. Callaway Ballistics. How? How? Callaway Ballistics. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Douche.